uh, the farmers are very, very happy about uh, the weather right now. I remember last year, uh, take, a, take a guy like George Wright, for instance. He owns H&W Farms, and he remembers what happened last year in March when it was 80 degrees one day and a freeze followed. He took a 100% loss on his cherry trees, 100%. And he lost crops, too, like asparagus and apples. And so he's cheering the current conditions. He says spring can start as late as it wants. He's expecting this year a very, very good crop. And I know Senator Debbie Stabenow, U.S. Senator, Democrat from Michigan, is smiling when she hears that news because it was a very tough year for the farmers. And uh, I know you're on the Agriculture Committee, or chair of the Agriculture Committee, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so there you have it, a good cherry crop heading our way probably. Well, good morning, Thank you. Michael Patrick. Again, you are absolutely right. Um, every time it started to warm up this year, I held my breath. And, you know, we were uh, within a couple of days of having a problem at one point uh, this winter. And so um, talking to folks um, uh, throughout northern Michigan and west Michigan who particularly have uh, orchards and so on, we're knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it. But, yeah. we, you know, at this point, it looks like we're going to be okay. And, and, uh, and the other thing that's really important is we need that snow and cold for the Great Lakes. We've got water levels down. You know, there's a whole range of reasons why we have uh, four seasons in Michigan, and we need to make sure we, we keep those four seasons. So uh, so I'm willing to let it uh, be cold a little bit longer. I just want to make sure when it warms up that it warms up to stay. That's, what, that's the key. Yeah, I keep hearing about uh, money needed for dredging uh, some of the harbors that even, even pleasure boats can't get in and out because of the lake levels. That's right, and so we're um, we're operating both the states doing some things, which is good, and at the federal level, <clears throat> Carl Levin and I have uh, been moving uh, legislation through the Senate that would designate something called the Harbor Maintenance Tax tax that's paid already, but not all of it actually goes for the harbors, and so we're trying to get all of those funds put back into dredging, and hopefully we can get that done, because right now, the Army Corps of Engineers looks at the big harbors that are used for commercial use, <clears throat> Excuse me. but so many of our harbors are viewed as recreational, but it's very much a part of our economy, as we know, you can go all up and down Lake Michigan and up north and and around the other side of the state and it's um, it's as much a part of the economy as bringing in commercial ships but it, it's uh, critical that our our uh, tourism you know our recreational boats be able to get in the harbor so we're we are really pushing on that.